All right, here's a video of a uh, customer's tram D201 circuit board, obviously, that um, I'm wrapping up. Um, this guy needed a lot of work. Um, he had some hours on it. He had some bad circuit joints and um, did some resoldering, some recapping. And we had to do some board work up here. If you can see, you know, the burn traces and, and all that. So um, you should have seen it before I um, reworked it if you think that's bad. Um, so I wasn't sure I was going to even be able to get this one to work. Um, but we finally got it up and running and after we did get it up and running this this one works nice this is a uh, um, not the first version D201 hardwired but it's probably one of the earlier circuit board um, D201s and um, you know Tram made a lot of differences and uh, um, changes and mods to their um, D201 series but one way to tell is this one has all those components right there those that's the second IF filtering all those um, silver mica caps and coils there whereas the um, next generation ones they use a little black can on it a little 455 um, can well, it's not even a can, a little plastic uh, black thing. Um, so that's one of the reasons you can tell that this was an earlier version. Um, another one is that on this earlier version, it uses two of the tubes to run the meter. And those big resistors up there um, help balance the meter, and it uses... Um, that tube right there and then over here it uses the I believe this tube right here on the um, B board to run the meter and they do that on the older version on the newer version they use a um, little 8 pin chip so anyway um, it's been recap I haven't gave it a bath or anything. Uh, might not do it. You know, a little dusty. But other than that, the um, top here looks pretty good. And everything calibrated and everything works on this radio. And um, we did one little trick with those um, four diodes there. We put in what I call my version of the uh, negative peak limiter. Um, on the net there is a popular three diode one. So we did a four diode mod on this one. Um, other than that it's pretty stock. Recapped and ready to go. And uh, it's got great receive. Actually I think the receive on this older version sounds a little bit... Um, more quality audio but I think you lose a little bit more rejection on this one so you know you can't have everything you got rejection on one side and uh, quality audio on the other uh, that's one of the problems you have with wideband and stuff is you get more frequency or more range um, but you bring in more noise and, and bad stuff you know along with it but this has great receive Everything works. It's nice and quiet. Uh, limiters work. Noise breaker work. Um, we like it a lot. Um, too bad it's not a 40 channel. And then people like to hardwire 23 channel. But uh, it's a talker. We're just going to go on a 20 watt scale on average. And actually we got this little browning amp in line. That's why we're going to make this video. But anyway, so that browning amp is sucking down a couple of my watts out of this thing um, but anyway um, 20 watt scale on average did can just under three hello 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 audio talking about eight or so <whistles> listen to about 11 and do a couple more than that if we took the browning amp out audio 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 and it's keying about under 18 on peak 
you know, from three watts. So it's a very good talker with my uh, negative peak limiter special circuit in this thing. Um, gives it a little more juice. But anyway, we're going to put it on the 200 watt scale. And we already did one recently on this amp. But we finally got in a um, lower voltage zener on this. So we put that in and um, going to fire it up with the low voltage zener on this last Browning 180 amp I uh, got. So well, we're on standby. It helps if you turn it to operate, if you want it to operate, right? Audio, audio. Audio. It's not quite as bright as the um, higher voltage zener so you lose just like everything is you know uh, not a zero-sum game it runs on lower voltage and this one lights up the way it's supposed to but it's not quite as bright as the other one so you know gain one thing but lose another but anyway audio audio this is the Browning 180 remember now this got the big bad tram behind it and that's on peak audio audio Doing about 140, might be 145 peak. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. If I had a um, Titan or, you know, a more of a, less of a radio behind it, it would barely do 100. And this is on average. Audio, audio. Audio. Pretty good swing, but again, that's, you know, the, not the Browning out. They're not big swingers. Just a basic two tube, grounded grid tube, but, um, with the swing of that tram behind it and that's about all you want to put in this little thing anyway um, you know that little transformer there two small tubes in it that's all you want to get out of this thing you know like 75 average you know maybe a good 100 125 peak so that's about all you'd want to push it but anyway that's gonna be the end of this video of this uh, Browning 180 and this um, customers um, Tram D201. Audio. Audio. I could do this all day. I think I'm going to start using that line. Bye.